Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Toyota Corolla, next to me is a Honda Civic, and next to that is a Volkswagen Golf, and they're all just normal, everyday cooking versions of the cars. Yeah, we're going to have a drag race, because you all asked for it. Well, some of you did. Some of you have gone, oh, I'd like to see a drag race of just normal cars, rather than just all the high-performance stuff. Well, here you go. You've got what you asked for, so you've only yourself to blame. Maybe it'll turn out to be the most exciting drag race I've ever filmed. Or maybe not. Anyway, let me tell you about this Toyota Corolla. So it is a hybrid, obviously, Toyota Corolla. It's the 1.8 litre, which is mated to an electric motor. And combined, you have a colossal 120 horsepower and 142 newton metres of torque. That drives the front wheels only via CVT automatic gearbox. This isn't the lightest car due to its hybrid tech. It weighs 1,400 kilograms. Does the pricing? You have this very car for £27,000. Let me tell you about our Honda Civic. So it doesn't have a hybrid system at all. Just a simple one litre, three cylinder turbo petrol engine with 126 horsepower and 180 newton metres of torque. It also has a CVT automatic gearbox driving the front wheels. It's lighter though, because it hasn't got the hybrid tech. So it weighs 1,300 kilos. Price wise, you're looking at £28,000 for that car. Finally, we come to the Volkswagen Golf. So that has a 1.5 litre turbo petrol engine, four cylinder, mated to a little electric motor. So it's got a mild hybrid tech and it puts out 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. Hmm, so it seems up on power than the other two cars. Still, it's a little bit lighter than this, but heavier than the Civic. It weighs in at 1,380 kilos. It has a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. Price-wise, £28,000. So really, these cars are very similar money. But what's going to happen in this drag race? Well, I've got two guest drivers to help me find out. They are absolute professionals, really good pro drivers. So the first one is my mum. Hello, mum. Are you all right in that Honda Civic? Yes, it feels quite stately. <laughs> stately? Are you sure about that? <laughs> How old is it? It's brand new. Oh. It's a brand new car. You're saying a brand new car, it's a press car. Why? Does it feel like old fashioned? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh no, I didn't I didn't think it was new. Burn Honda, that's a real life car buyer there assessing your product. <laughs> okay. Mum, I think you've done enough damage to Honda. Let's, <gasps> let's, let's speak to the person who we've got in the Volkswagen Golf. It's my girlfriend, Joanne. Hello, Joanne. Hello, Matthew. How does the Golf feel? Because they've recently revised it and tried to make it seem more high-tech inside. Um, it's OK. Um, yeah, I mean, it's got the, everything you need from, from where I'm sitting. I wouldn't say it's got the wow factor. Do you know what? Actually, out of all the three cars, I think this Toyota is the coolest inside. And I thought I'd never say that, but it's true. So, do you all know how to launch your cars? Yes. Basically, you just accelerate away from the light. There's nothing to it. They don't have launch control. It's just accelerate. But it is a bit wet. We might get a little bit of tyre spin, but the stability control should rein that in. Get it? Rein that in, because it's raining. It's my little joke. I'm a bit concerned that I haven't got stability control. Stability? You can have stability control. Not stability. <laughs> I said stability. Stability control. Stability control. Or is it ability? I'm confused now. What is it? How do we know whether we've got it or not? Yeah, you've got it. It comes as standard on all new cars, even... New uh, cars that feel like old cars, like the Honda Civic, oh, according to you, Mother. Oh, oh dear, no, no, it's very, 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 very nice, actually. You <laughs> take it all back. <laughs> I didn't realise it was new. Sorry. All right, they're used to it. I mean, it's part of the job. You, you have to give your honest opinion. And oh, that's your honest opinion. Anyway, on. listen, shall we just get on with this race, because we're just rabbiting on. Let's find out which of the slow cars is actually the quickest. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Three, two, one. Oh, off the line steadily. What's happened to the golf? Ha <laughs> ha 
I'm ahead. No way am I ahead. Where's that golf? I think that's a dreadful start from the golf. It's coming back now though. Who's going to win between those two? Oh. Were you struggling to get off the line there? I was, yeah. Every time you sort of revved it, it, it dropped back to zero and cut out. How bizarre. How about you, Mum? Did you struggle to get off the line? I, 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 um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Maybe I just was a little bit slow. Yeah, well, this felt really slow, but I was like almost 10 metres ahead of you after 10 metres. It's like I'd jump the start, but I didn't. Do you want another go? See if you can do a better job. Definitely. My start was completely delayed. You'd both gone by the time I started. Three, two, one. Just floored it. I was about to take off. Oh, the golf got away really well then. Golf's gonna have me. Can the Honda come back? Got plenty of time to look around. The Honda is pretty much not gaining. Win for the Golf, second place for the Toyota, and last place for the Honda. So then what exactly happened? Well, once the VW got a good start, it completed the standing quarter mile in 16.2 seconds. The Toyota came second, crossing the line in 17.8 seconds, and the Honda was last in 18.2 seconds. Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour, cars in automatic mode obviously because that's all they've got and they're little in sports setting. So, if you get level guys, come on get level, nice and level. Bit further forward mother, bit further forward, bit further forward, come on, accelerate. That's it, you're ready, I'm going to get it now. Three, two, one, floor it! Oh, <laughs> this is close. She's pulling ahead of me. The golf is gone. See ya. Go, mother, go. Joe's heading home. She's she's miles ahead. I think we can call this off. We know what's happened. Go with the golf. That was better, wasn't it, Mum? What do you think about that, that time? It's still, it's still slow. If you pick up your radio, you can talk to me. It's still slow. I expect you to be able to read sign language. <laughs> Quick reference, guys. My mum used to teach deaf kids. That's why she just sign languages at me. If I can't hear her, she starts sign languaging towards me. And I've no idea what she's saying because I didn't study sign language because I'm not deaf. Right, now we're going to do a brake test from 70 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. And I'll put my car into braking mode for regeneration while I'm braking. Come on, get level. Get level. Get level. Here comes the line. That was pretty close, but I think the Volkswagen Golf won again. <laughs> All three. The hat trick for you, Joe. Well done, Joe. Steaming up in here. That's because you're hot. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, you came last. I did some. How do I fit? Devastated. You really couldn't give a task, could you? <laughs> Really, I'm devastated. 
I am. And who might come in that? <laughs> so how did you feel about the whole performance of the Honda? It feels really solid and safe. But of course, after driving the very, very fast things, it feels slower. It's comfortable. It's okay. That's it. So that's the verdict on the Honda Civic by Sally Watson. The new Honda Civic, it's okay. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Any other videos you'd like us to film, let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and hit the bell icon. That way you won't miss a single upload. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this race. I'll see you next time. Oh, there's one last thing I want to tell you. I found a great deal on one of these cars at Carwell. And if you click on the pop-out banner up there, you can see which car it is and what the deal is. I picked it out, especially myself, just for you guys. So go check it out. Finally, thanks for watching. <laughs> of the three, I like the look of yours best, Matt. Yeah, I agree. Do you realise there's a man from Honda just stood there, he's brought the car to us kindly today and he's going to take it away, he's been today in the rain and he basically just criticised his car. He might get the sack because of you. Shall I have to wear a hair shirt and thrash myself? I'm very sorry. <laughs> What's a hair shirt? It was a shirt made of uncomfortable material that if you'd been naughty... I mean really seriously stuff. It's from the Bible or it's from ancient times. You had to wear it to remind yourself at every move how bad you've been. Anyway, that's enough about that. Thanks for the history lesson, Mum. Very, very interesting. Shall we just get on with this performance test? Come on. <laughs>